Oh. You're back then. How are you feeling? Oh, well, you know, I'm bearing up. After some idiot shoved me sideways, knocked me unconscious. You seen your Ryan? I've tried his place, but he's not in. He'll be out in a sec. I want some fresh air. He seems to think I need assistance. What do you want to see him for, anyway? I need him to forge some receipts for the knockoff booze that you sold to Chaz. <gasps> Forgery? How else is she going to claim on her insurance? Well, she said she wasn't going to. Well, then we need to persuade her. If this is your guilty conscience kicking in, you can forget it. It's your bright idea to rob the ball pack. You've already dragged me into it. You're certainly not dragging Ryan in. You dragged yourself into it. Selling that knockoff booze in the first place and then grassing me up for it. OK, I'm sorry, it just kind of slipped out. We're meant to be covering for each other. You know what, I have a good mind to grass you and Mackenzie up and all. There is no me and Mackenzie, OK? It was a couple of drunken flings, that's it, it meant nothing. I'm serious, I don't even like the guy. Remind me, does Ryan know about you and him? I mean, what's the arm if it meant nothing? I'm serious, Kane. You don't breathe a word of this, OK? And you certainly don't ask him to forge anything. You can't sell me. Well, Moira can. Involve him, I tell Moira everything. Hey, I got you a touch. You said you needed a favour. Stuff him. Just forget it. Hi. Shouldn't you be resting? Oh, not you and all. Got Nora and Sarah fussing around me too. It's doing my head in. Thought maybe I'd come and see Charles escape it for a bit. You know, if you're worried about being seen with me, then I won't get too close. Not in public, anyway. Good. Because, you know, we're supposed to be keeping this on the down low, remember? Yeah. Well, according to your gallant cousin, he wants us to snuff it out completely. Well, maybe he's got the right idea. Ah, uh, you don't mean that. If we're having fun, why would we stop? It was fun when no one knew. Yeah, well, Kane's not going to say anything. And what if we slip up again in front of Ryan? Me and him have only just made up. He'll come around when he sees that we're serious. It's not just about him, though. There's Sarah and Noah to think about. I did enough damage after Vanessa left. Then I've completely messed up with Debs over Al. You know, I I'm not ashamed of us. So why should you be? I just don't want things getting complicated. Who says that they will? It's as simple as we make it out to be. I care about you, Charity. When I found out you were in hospital, I, I was beside myself. And <clears throat> we fancy the pants off each other. I know we do. And I fantasize about you all the time. I know that you do too, so... Oi! A word. Now. So it was a couple of drunken flings and that's it. You must be getting old if I'm having to repeat myself. I had a chat with Mackenzie earlier, and I'd say he's pretty smitten. Hmm. Can't help the effect I have on men. He's an idiot and he can't be trusted. <gasps> that sounds like someone else I know. Whatever's gone on between you, it's got to stop. What's it got to do with you, anyway? So there is something. Only according to you. I'm not daft. He's bad news, right, and he split you and Vanessa up, and if you can bag someone decent like Vanessa, then why stoop to someone like him? Maybe because I like him and I like the way he makes me feel. Well, I don't want you seeing him. Why? Because you're jealous? Because I said so. Well, I'm not daft either. So, come on, Kane. What is it about me being with Mackenzie that bothers you so much? Kane Dingle. You never fail to surprise me. There's me thinking. That little flame fizzled out a long time ago, and yet here you are getting all green-eyed on me. Told you I'm not jealous. Oh, come on. All this hellfire and brimstone, nobody wastes this much energy unless they're seriously bothered. So? So? OK, I care. <gasps> I knew it. <sighs> Charity, you've still got it, girl. Right, but take it from me, right? Somebody who knows you really well, Mackenzie is a bad idea. And what if it turns out it's not bad, it's a good idea, like Moira was for you. You know, tamed the beast. You're nothing like Moira. <sighs> Small mercy. Yeah, whereas you and Mackenzie... What, we're two alike? Oh, wait, hang on. That's what this is about. You're not warning me off for my sake. You just want to protect your own cosy little setup, don't you? Yeah, he's Moira's brother. Uh, any trouble ends up at my door. Yeah, and that trouble would be tenfold if little old me got involved. Yeah, but Ryan's not going to like it. Well, fine, go and tell him. Yeah, I will. Do it! 
You cause a whole world of family drama, Kane. I'm sure Murray would love that, wouldn't she? No? I thought not. I'm sorry, Kane, but I will jump into bed with whoever I want. And I will make sure I try not to cause you and the good lady too much grief, OK? I promise. <laughs>